So jQuery 1.4 uh, just came out. What are what are some of the highlights that uh, that you're really excited about? Well, as usual, we've been working a lot on uh, performance, um, improving performances. Every we do this in virtually every release. Um, and I think we did a pretty good job in 1.4, and we're continuing to do so in the, the point releases now. Uh, but additionally, I think we just we made uh, a lot of good leaps in in providing a lot better uh, event delegation support. Um, and so this is just uh, something that we've been working on for a while. We've had the live events since uh, jQuery 1.3, but I think we um, we just really improved them uh, quite well in 1.4, and uh, I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. Cool, cool. So. Uh what can we expect in the future from jQuery uh, as far as mobile devices? Mm -hmm. So the big thing for us hasn't been um, necessarily shipping a different build uh, for mobile devices, but making sure that our existing jQuery, jQuery.js, uh, that, that we ship has good mobile support just baked right in. Uh, so what that'll mean is not necessarily mobile uh, specific features, but just making sure that uh, any weird mobile browser issues are worked around. Sure, cool. So what can we expect from uh, jQuery in the future? Like, wh What's your ultimate goals for <laughs> jQuery? I have no idea what the ultimate goals are, but um, take it one day at a time. But at least in the, in the immediate future here, uh, we're working on um, a rewrite of uh, the Ajax code base. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, additionally, we're also working on some, uh, some integrated templating support. Um, and also some uh, dynamic code loading support. We also we already support some dynamic code loading, code loading but uh, this one's going to have some uh, dependency management inside of it. So in your talk, you you talked about a couple things you can do to improve the JavaScript in a web application. Mm -hmm. What are some of the th the I guess mistakes that you see people make, or what are a couple of things that people can do to improve things? Mm -hmm. um, I think probably the the one that is the big mistakes, and it, I mean it's it's more of a fundamental understanding, which is that when you're writing your applications, uh, I, I, I just always find it to be best that to start for something that works before you ever even touch your JavaScript code. Uh, so implement something that'll just work, you know, with regular clicks and regular forms, and you know, it'll just it'll it'll work, it'll work clunkily, but it'll work. Sure. And then go through and layer on your unobtrusive JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So you know, and, and just override that, override the form, override the you know the clicks and everything, and you know implement your own functionality on top. And in that way, because w when you do that, it's um, you're running away that uh, your application in a way that is you know search engine optimized from the start. It is completely accessible uh, to, to screen readers and people with uh, disabilities, and it'll work if JavaScript is disabled. So I mean, it's, a, it's just win, 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 and it just, it's really the best way to design your application. Cool. Well, thanks very much, John. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me.